My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. That's it sad. was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? <gasps> yes. Oh my god. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But it's always have to hide. Was your mother from a noble house? She must have been. To serve Lady Elena. Yes, though it's not well known. Distant cousins of the Tyrells, I'm told. They wanted nothing to do with me after my mother died. What is the purpose of telling me this? I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Please, Mira. And what would I stand to gain if I did this? Seven hells, Mira. Do you ever think about anyone besides yourself? No, I think about my family an awful lot. I came to you for help. No, you're right. I'm sorry, Sarah. Wait, why did no, I apologize? I'm, I'm not sorry. Sorry. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. Must be my with natural what happened to your brother and Canadian your instinct. Father. To apologize for things that aren't your fault. You need this more than I do. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. <laughs> Lord Tyrion. <laughs> Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. All right, this should be interesting. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. 
My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. I'm here to sell our ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. <gasps> now, if you'll excuse us. Oh, no, gonna... You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. Lord Andros, I'm truly sorry if I've upset you. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. <coughs> now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? Excuse me. The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? Oh, sure. Uh... You had a reason for coming here. Well, I know it's just prices. to entertain me. My family can supply all that the Crown needs. You're suggesting the Foresters be our sole supplier of ironwood. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or... You'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the north is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. I need more than that. I'll have an answer for you soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. Man, we're just jumping around all over the place. Controlling. I was. Okay, there I go. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of sellswords. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. 
They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. Right. Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. What kind of unfinished business? The kind I'd rather keep to myself. Ponte Renas! You guy in Josi but Dagon Costotti Daor. Probably could have done that quieter. Let's go. You're quick, I'll give you that. But you're reckless. If I have to, I will murder my way to Ramsey Snow and cave his bloody head in. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asha. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forester will not survive to see winter. Okay. I wonder how much money these guys really have to buy armies with. Slowly starting to feel like this is floundering and not really going anywhere. Everything's still here. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my books? Why would someone do this?
I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Well, that sounds completely legitimate. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Robber. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. I'll make sure she knows. It cannot hurt most ladies her age. Enough, Maester. When we last spoke of Elena, you said you'd push to get her father's army. And so you must. Just remember that she'll want to see gentleness in you too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice, but this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Roderick? Why would they invite her in over before he's all healed up? You look... You're really... Elena. It's just me. Yes, of course. It's good to see you again, Roderick. Please. I really hope no one heard my ringtone. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but... I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again, though. I'm glad to hear you're recovering. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. This seems to be going well. But Roderick, I am. Um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They seemed angry. Violent. They said some terrible things. <laughs> The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No, he just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. Until now, at your darkest point. But in light of all that's happened to your family... So I want to kick you while you're down. My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. And I was inclined to agree with him. Until I received a curious letter from Marjorie Tyrell. What did it say? Lady Marjorie suggests in the kindest of terms that we go through with the marriage. And as you can imagine, a suggestion from a future queen is difficult to ignore. Do you know why Lady Marjorie would send this to me? She and I have never corresponded. Yet now she writes me directly. Mira must have asked her to intervene. I didn't know your sister carried such influence. You act as if you had no part in this. 
I feel manipulated, Roderick. A house like mine can't refuse a suggestion from Marjorie Tyrell. I'm being forced to marry you, Roderick. Is that truly what you want? Would you do that to me? After everything we've shared? If this is the only way to secure an alliance... Oh, I should have said no. Then yes. For my family. You trapped me, Roderick. Ah, well, deal with it. Very well. I'll tell my father our betrothal stands. But this will be a marriage of necessity. And I do not expect it will be a happy one. Wow, what a bitch. She comes in. Apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but... So, the rumours are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. Yes, I am. Roderick can be very convincing. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh. She practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. If you vote Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now, I hear you're ordering them around, and refusing to feed them. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Fuck your soldiers. And fuck you too. Roderick, please. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. I'm going to spontaneously Your murder brother you Ethan too. called me Craven. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half. Of the Ironwood Forest. You can't do Ramsey that. Snow I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. <laughs> Isn't that clever? I can't believe you're pulling my family into this. Get used to it. You'd put your pride ahead of your family? What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? I couldn't kiss his ring in front of Elena. She would have understood. My lord, are you well?
I'm going to kill that man. End of episode. Did I... Nope, didn't call it. But yeah, that Elena Gilmore or whatever was a total bitch. She's like, oh, I had so much fun with you. You're my best friend. Our marriage isn't going to be a happy be one. It'll be out of necessity. You need those men to have your back. Which one is it? There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. Couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black and that's all you'll ever do. Can't let him win, John Snow. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think he might be trouble. He doesn't know me. He's seen a thousand recruits pass through those gates. He knows you better than you think. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and the next... The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Walder Frey and Roose Bolton will pay for their treachery. I'd like to believe you. But men like that don't get what they deserve. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. <coughs> they murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here, with the nice watch. Those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. And they'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Whoa. Don't fall. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here, where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand Wavlins. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire. 
or you'll end up like Frostfinger. Yeah, it's just going on. I feel like we've pretty much wrapped up everybody's storyline. Oh, except oh yeah, okay, except for hers. Never mind. So she must be the last one. No, I'll probably have one more of this and one more of Asher or whatever. I think. I'm here. But where are you? startled me. Oh my god, it's the 